Hello, I'm Matthew. Today we will be exploring how to access Ancestry's database through your Virginia Beach Public Library. We will also cover the basics of getting started in your family research, starting your family tree, and provide some searching tips as well. In this video, I'll provide a basic introduction to searching as well as an overview of additional resources available in Ancestry. I'll also go over some other online resources to help you in your family research. So if you visit Ancestry.com on its own, you'll see the page here. And you can start a free trial, um, but after that it is a paid service. So by accessing Ancestry through our website, you get access to Ancestry's database of census data, records, directories, photos, and more. So how do you access Ancestry through the library? So first you'll go to the address bar up top here, type in www.vbgov.com slash libraries, hit enter. And then you're gonna navigate to the digital library on the left-hand side. You're gonna click on research and you can go to the A to Z and it's that first link right up top there. Um, if you don't wanna use A to Z, you can go back and click by subject. And if you scroll right, you'll see local history and genealogy, and it's that first link right there as well. Uh, typically, accessing Ancestry is only available when inside the library. Uh, however, as of the date of this video, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are offering the service virtually. And you'll see this link here, links to the bonus content page for access to the resource outside the library. So we're just gonna click on that. And we're going to click on Ancestry.com. Next, I'm just going to show you how to explore the Ancestry database. At any time, you can either click Home on the top left uh, Ancestry logo to bring you back to the home page. You'll also see on the top right here that it says Virginia Beach Public Library. So that just means that we accessed Ancestry correctly and we're logged in through the VBPL website. Now to do some searching, so clicking search, that'll bring up other options to help narrow down what exactly you're looking for. If you want to search for everything, either click all categories or just click search again. So for example, let's say I was helping a customer look up their ancestor. Let's say his name is John Smith. Uh, for a place he may have lived, we're going to say he was in West Virginia in the United States. And we're going to put the birth year around 1900. Um, we're not doing anything exact right now. We're just sort of guessing. And we're going to click search. And this is going to show a lot of draft card results. If we want to further narrow our search, we can go to the left hand side of the page here and we can filter or limit our searches to census lists by clicking on that category. So we're going to click census and voter lists here. And when you find a census page, you can click on it. And you can click view image on the left hand side here. And this will show you the actual document. You can also go back and look over the information just to ensure that it is the correct person. It gives you the source uh, description as well as source information. You can also fill in clues like who lived in their household, what their occupation was, among many other things to help narrow down your search to make sure it's the right person. And it gives you some extra options here um, as to what to do with the document. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can print, download, share the item, rotate it. You can bring up the information on it, close it out, or make it full screen. While inside the document, you can also use some hotkeys. So rather than clicking the arrows to navigate through the pages, while that is an option, you can always use the keyboard. The P key will hit previous. So just remember P for previous. Or you can click the N key for the next page. So N for next. There we go, N for next. <laughs> and you can also click the F key. That brings up the film strip. So just remember F for film strip. And you can press it again to make it go away. 
And as stated before, you can click this. You can see related to see any related records and source to find out where the information came from. And you can also use this if you're using a paper um, and you need to cite your sources. And detail gives you more information about the record that you have pulled up. Now that I've gone over searching for a fair amount of time, I'm going to go over the other resources that Ancestry has to offer. So message boards, uh, this is where you will see Ancestry members asking questions and interacting with each other. So think of it kind of like Ancestry's social media page. By accessing Ancestry through the library, you cannot post threads or replies, but you can navigate the message boards and see if anyone has similar questions as you and see if any other members have input. You can also look up information about specific topics, look up names or keywords by searching the boards, and you can look up surnames here along with categories. Now the Learning Center, that has some extra tips and tricks provided by Ancestry. They have various categories ranging from beginner tips to advanced searches, along with topics such as military information, immigration searches, etc. These are some additional resources that you can use to help you learn Ancestry. You can also click on maps here right next to research aids. That will show you resources for searching in a specific state. So if we click Virginia, you can see the vital records, census records, everything like that. And of course you can do that with Iowa and so on and so forth. Now we're gonna go to the charts and forms page here. This section is where you will download documents to fill in to organize your research. You'll see an ancestral chart, a research calendar, among other documents that you can download, print, etc. And you can also click on census forms to bring up US, UK, and Canadian census documents. And last but not least, we're going to go to the new collections tab. This simply brings up the card catalog of Ancestry, which starts with all of the newly updated collections. So just like with the regular search, you can go for a title, a keyword, or you can filter by collection. Again, this is just sorted by the last date that it was updated. So I've already gone briefly over the search tab, but I want to go back there and go over some additional advanced searching tips that I found through various videos and trainings to better help you searching on this uh, database. So we're going to go back to search and click all categories. But when searching, you can click the show more options link to search with additional facts. If you want exact names and dates, don't forget to use the exact uh, feature. So if we type 1900 or 1904, just make sure that you check that exact and it gives you a range in case you're not positive, but you want to search around that time. And even if you do know exact dates, broader searches are usually best for more results. Uh, try narrowing your search by location or date, and you can do this by using the filter by menu on the left hand side of the screen. So I'm going to go back. Filter by is right there. And despite its name, the card catalog here, it is entirely digital and you can sort the information however you want. So you'll want to use multiple approaches when searching for something. Uh, you'll want to use filters, title searches, keyword searches, etc. So six searches can really bring up six different results. So try searching with both more and less information to yield different results. Some more searching tips for you. Um, allow for spelling mistakes. Sometimes people's names are spelled incorrectly on census records and the handwriting can be difficult to decipher, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're looking for someone's parents, try a decade or so after their birth. Um, for female ancestors, just make sure you're looking for both the maiden and married names. And then don't forget to browse unique collections such as maps, catalogs, postcards, and newsreels as well to get a glimpse of the bigger picture. Now we're going to go over some additional resources that you can use to help you with your family search. You can always go to support.ancestry.com. And this provides you with all sorts of options. You can look up your specific question just by searching for answers there. Uh, you can look up basic information here. 
You can look up account troubleshooting, and if you click search and records at the bottom, right here, those provide additional search tips and resources as well. And if you watch a lot of videos online, Ancestry has their own YouTube channel. That's all found here. You can look at their playlists and all their videos sorted by upload date are here as well. Uh, they have tutorials, tips and tricks, and all kinds of unique and fun videos. And this essentially covers the basics of accessing Ancestry through Virginia Beach Public Library and making navigating and searching for records a little easier. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you gained something from it. Happy searching.